Across the country and right here in Maine, tragic cases of gun violence are reigniting the debate over gun control. The shootings keep happening and state and local leaders keep arguing. So far, no one seems to have a practical answer to solve the problems. Those debates are getting a lot of focus in Augusta right now. And 207's Don Kerrigan talked with two leaders in the debate on why finding solutions is so hard. After more shootings across the country, and the shocking killing of four people in Bowdoin, and the apparently random shooting of three others on the highway, the Maine legislature is again faced with multiple gun bills from both sides of the issue. But is our state any closer to finding real answers? It's about common sense, evidence-based, statistical evidence that this legislation will help to save lives. Lynn Ellis is legislative director of the Maine Gun Safety Coalition. I think that among uh, some gun owners, not all, but some, there is the belief that gun control organizations such as yours really are trying to eliminate guns. And that is absolutely false. And we actually, I don't think you'll find any of us say we're for gun control. We are for gun safety. Like many other advocates, Ellis argues that guns have become a public health issue. There have been, as of this morning, May 8, 2023, 201 mass shootings in this country. Um, on April 10th, there was a news report that there were 146 mass shootings and over 200 killed. And among the many gun bills facing the legislature, Ellis says two in particular can make a difference. Universal background checks for all gun sales. You can still go to Uncle Henry's and you can see a gun for sale and you can meet the seller in a parking lot and they don't have to, you know, they should, but they don't have to go through a licensed dealer to do a background check. So people are still getting their hands on those firearms that shouldn't. And a 72-hour waiting period to purchase a firearm. We're a leader in public safety. You can have gun rights and you can have public safety. It's not one or the other. David Trahan is executive director of the Sportsman's Alliance of Maine and a key player in the debate about guns in the State House. We believe in firearm rights in the Second Amendment, but we're reasonable people. We're Maine citizens. We live here. We want our communities to be safe. So our organization engages in those discussions, and we try to find middle ground. Those discussions led to passage of Maine's so-called yellow flag law in 2019. That agreement happened in part because of negotiations between the governor and Trahan. He says Governor Mills is bringing him in again to find some kind of new agreement on guns in the face of national violence and the shootings in Bowdoin and Yarmouth. We have met with the Speaker's office, we've met with the Governor's office, the Senate President, and we've been discussing some policies that we believe could help. So the Speaker of the House has a bill in to uh, require universal background checks, uh, an issue that almost passed by referendum back seven years ago. What I said to the governor to the speaker's office is there's plenty of time for us to have debates about the more controversial policies like universal background checks, assault weapon bans, that sort of thing. Right now we're talking about a bill that maybe all of us can support. There's time for both debates, but if you mix in the more controversial, then it's unlikely that anything will pass. Ellis says she believes there is growing support among legislators for some new gun laws and says her group would like to find a way to work with the other side. Is this problem so hard to solve, so difficult to come up with common ground because of it being embedded in the Constitution? I would certainly say that that's become a barrier to to communication. Uh, I'm not going to go so far as to say I have the, the answer to that, but it definitely seems to be a barrier when we're communicating with people here in Maine. Um, we can't seem to get it to the middle ground. Given where things are at in this country with clearly increased concern over mass shootings, school shootings to be so sure, and others, has the time come 
that the firearm community is going to have to say yes to something more? No, because there's a backstop. It's called the Constitution. There's a Second Amendment and the state constitutional right to own firearms. And what we can do is, is we can create regulations that make communities safer. Both sides on this issue say they would be happy to talk with the other, and both say that their work is about making Maine safer. Those negotiations over changes to Maine gun laws have started, but no details of the discussions have been released yet. The legislature will debate those and the proposals for universal background checks, as well as a waiting period for gun purchases in the final month of the current legislative session.